Hey guys, what is up and I welcome you all to a new League of Legends video. So Echo has been out on the live service for a few days now, and I really am curious as to how successfully people are playing Echo. Are they really utilizing his kit to his full potential, how are they building him and all of that good stuff. But as you guys know, I have been playing him more than just a few days, all thanks to the PBE server, and I was thinking what better video than to make my thoughts on the three builds that I believe are all successful in their own ways that you guys can be using on Echo right now. Don't forget these builds are not necessarily final. They it can definitely change as time goes on and as my experience and overall the public's experience with Echo increases. But without much further ado, let's go into the first build. This one is going to be the build that you'll be seeing me use most often on Echo and I truly think is going to be the standard build on Echo. This one is titled the Assassin build for the obvious reason that it truly is the Assassin build building raw AP damage on Echo really utilizing his full damage output in a single rotation. So for all the builds, you're going to be starting off either with a Doran's Ring and a few potions or with a Bottle and a few potions. The way to determine this is if you think your opponent is going to be much more aggressive than you in the laning phase and you're kind of scared of them, go for the bottle. However, on the flip side, if you think you can make the aggressive moves in the laning phase, go for the Doran's Ring. The core items I have listed in this build is going to be most definitely the loot and Zeko. Then you want to get the Sork Boots. I love the Morale and Omicons and that's just a personal opinion because I like the mana regeneration and I really like the 20% CDR. I am personally a huge fan of 40% CDR on Assassin Champions, especially champions like Echo, because you want to be able to use your E ability as often as possible. Because Echo shines at being able to go in, do his damage, get out, and then go back in again. You want to then follow it up with the Lich Bane because it synergizes so well with your E ability, proccing the Lich Bane effect on the auto attack. And Zhonya's I feel is a very core item on him as well because it gives you the defensive capabilities that you might need in a certain team fight. And as you pop your Zhonya's, chances are as you come out of the Zhonya's, your ultimate's ghosts will be more or less on top of you so then you can instantly pop your ultimate and just punish everyone that's waiting around your Zhonya's effective finish to try and kill you. And the reason I have the Lucidity boots kind of underneath the Sork boots is because eventually I do sell the Sork boots for the Lucidity because CDR is so much more important 30 or 40 minutes into the game than just a small amount of magic pen that you get from the Sork boots. And as a sixth and final item, top it off with either Rabadons if they're not stacking too much MR or just play it safe and go for the Avoid staff. So like I said, this is going to be the build you'll personally be seeing me use in a lot of my games because it really plays him like a true assassin, giving him a very high damage output with all of his abilities in the proper rotation, has a very solid mid game spike or even early game spike if you get the loot and Zeko very early, and it easily has the most carry potential. The cons is that you'll be very squishy with this build since you're not really getting a lot of resistance items except for the Zhonya's. It is very difficult to make this one work because it's a very high risk, high reward build. Either you will utilize your abilities in the proper rotation and kill everyone and then get out or you're just gonna simply die so fast because you're so squishy. For the most part I'll be using this room page with this build. Magic pen res, HP per level yellows, AP per level blues and flat AP quins. And here's my somewhat standard 2109 mastery page. But definitely change up the masteries, the runes or the items if you think you have something that might work better for your playstyle. But going into the second build is gonna be a tanky AP version of the first one. The starting items are definitely the same but the core items is where everything changes. The purpose of this build is to be more tanky and be able to do more consistent damage. So with that being said, I really like the Rod of Ages and the Abyssal Scepter. Both of them give you AP while also giving you defensive stats. I then get the Sword Boots and of course later on in the game switch them out for the Lucidity, but here is where the interesting part happens in my opinion. So either you can go somewhat safe and go for the Lich Bane, or you can go for the Nasher's Tooth, an item that I'm personally liking on Echo, especially with this build, definitely helping you out with that sustained damage output. I mean, yes, yeah, I'm really utilizing his passive to its full since it does have a cooldown, but you're definitely utilizing your W's passive if the target is below 30% HP. And overall, my opinion is definitely giving you that consistent damage output, and since you do have the tanky stats from the earlier items, you're able to stand in the fight auto-attacking a lot more often before dying, or before making the retreat. But either way, the Zhonya's after that is a must. Another item you can definitely throw in there potentially is the Luden's Echo. Now this is a very Diana-esque build, much more tanky, consistent damage output, and just kind of being able to stay within the fight much longer. It works exceptionally well against double AP solo laners since the Abyssal Scepter is really put to full use. And overall I really think this is a solid build and it's a lot easier to play with since you're not as squishy and you can definitely take a lot more punishment. The cons of this build is that the carry potential is not as high and the damage output is not as high as the Assassin build. But if the enemy team has a lot of tanks or you feel like your team needs a bit of tankiness, I think this is the build to go for. So for the runes if you opt 
out for the Nash's Tooth, go for the same page as I mentioned earlier. But if you feel like you don't like the Nash's Tooth and you like the Lich Bane more, go for this page instead where instead of AP per level blues, you have CDR per level blues. Because like I said, getting 40% CDR on Echo is just too important. And for the Mastery page, I still use the exact same one. And the final third build I will be talking about in this video is gonna be the Hybrid build. This build was inspired to me by the Hybrid Mid Corky build. And the purpose of this one is to be able to dish out different types of damage, AD and AP, so that the opponent is very confused as to how to build against you in terms of defense. So you can see the core items, you have the Ludens Echo for the raw AP damage, then you want to get the Triforce for the mixed damage while also having the Sheen effect work surprisingly well. And overall just giving you a bunch of dueling stats. Following that you can get either the Sword Boots or the Lucidity Boots, and then you want to top it off with a beautiful Gunblade. I think Gunblade is a very underrated item and it's really good on Echo because he can use it so often since he spams abilities so often. And it just so happens to work very well with a hybrid build like this one. And the last item, like with every other build, is the Hourglass. So as I mentioned earlier, you have a lot of mixed damage coming out with this build, so the enemy team is very confused as to how to build against you. Gunblade works exceptionally well on Echo and I'm really happy to finally be able to use this item inside a build. Overall this build is kind of like the jack of all trades, I mean you have a bit of tankiness, you have some AP damage in there, you have some AD damage, you have dueling power, you have bursts, it's not amazing on one thing, but it's good at many things. The major difference for the runes is that I have hybrid penetration reds. The yellows and quints are the same as usual, and for the blues you either get AP per level or CDR per level. And the masteries are the same. So that is it guys, those are the three builds I have in mind for Echo at the moment, definitely try them all out, tell me which one you like the most and which one you have the most success with and the most fun with. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, check out my other videos as well, and hope to see you for the next one. Peace.